Hello and welcome to Caffeine Zombies with Bite Size News. Today is July 10th, 2024, and we'll be going over a new rocket from Europe, popularity of non-alcoholic beer growing and why, along with how pharmacy benefits managers are cooking the books against you. Lots to cover, so let's get started. Ariana 6 is the new expendable rocket design that launched straight into space at 4 billion euros or 4.33 billion US dollars. To develop, this rocket is flying straight toward recouping its cost. There's a backlog of contracts set already to use this new design and for good reason. Straight away, this gives European countries ability to launch satellites without relying on other parts of the world to do it, has a heavy load capable of bringing some pretty hefty gear up into space, and is available in two models with their own weight classes available. But it also has a few negatives against it. One is it's an expendable rocket, making it less economically and environmentally friendly, and Falcon 9 rockets from Tesla, well, Elon Musk's SpaceX is generally available to offer cheaper rates into space, though neither of those negatives have deterred the initial launch. Another one set this year, and the six already ready to go for next year, along with dozens more waiting in line for the future. It's simply, how long will this rocket palooza last for Ariana 6? Other good news, it didn't blow up in under a minute like its predecessor did. Talking about things blowing up, non-alcoholic beer is growing in popularity. All you have to do is look at the company Athletic Brewing Company. They started less than five years ago, raised hundreds of millions of dollars, and just recently got another $50 million. Their valuation is now just about $800 million, nearly doubling since 2022. But it's not just them. The expected outlook of non-alcoholic beer as an industry is set to grow about 7.2% year over year taking it from a $20 billion industry today to a $40 billion industry by the end of 2033. This trend is being led by millennials, and in particular women, who tend to be more health conscious than the more typical beer consumer. Piggybacking as well on the, low decline, the slow decline of alcohol drinking in general year over year, in the United States at least. With toxic substances on the mind, pharmaceuticals, well in particular, pharmacy benefits managers. These companies work with insurance to determine what things you can have and what you can't, along with pricing and more. The FTC, led by the awesome Lisa Kahn, has put PBMs on notice. They're next. With just six PBMs managing 94% of all filled prescriptions in the United States, they have a lot of pull, and they've been using it for evil, or so initial reviews have shown, often making it so people overcharge for drugs and are, these companies are profiting off of it, even things such as cancer drugs. What they do is they limit your access to low-cost alternatives for their own benefits. The FTC has told these six that they need to provide details on their business practices to determine if anything else wonky is going on, and if they are not forthcoming, they're going to get the Lisa Khan axe attack. Khan, no, that sounds too much like Khan, like Khan man. Hmm. I'll workshop it. Anyhow, soon we'll find out just how badly PBMs have been screwing us. Now on to something else that's screwing America. What mass shootings happened yesterday? None. Another day with none. All right, NRA, you can have July 10th, 2024. And let's end on a controversial topic. Should a kid be allowed to keep secrets from parents? Of course they should. Secrets are important things to keep. Now, if that child is also a politician, then no. No, they shouldn't. Politicians should be required to be transparent, but not as transparent as Mike Johnson, the current Speaker of the House. I really don't want to know that you and your son keep tabs on each other's porn habits. That's a secret you can keep. But Johnson's son, if you're in trouble, blink twice.